What's up guys, Lore here, and today we're taking a look at just the tip of Fanta Shooting. Winner of the uh, 2012 Least Creative Name Ever Award. Seriously, was this like, uh, hey, what should we name our fantasy shooting game? Well, how about Fanta Shooting? Great, let's go have a beer. Anyway, uh, this game is available for free on both iOS and Android. Uh, there is a $1.29 paid version on iOS. I'm not sure what that's all about. I couldn't find a paid version on Android, and um, there doesn't appear to be anything in the game here so far that would indicate any sort of paid upgrade. Maybe we'll find out as I jump into it, but it looks like it's basically a twin-stick shooter. That's about all that I know about it so far. Uh, let's find out. All right, so... Uh, Push some of these other buttons here. This uh, apparently opened their blog. That's fantastic. Thank you for that. Down here we have different equipment. Uh, you can earn gold apparently to buy different equipment. All right. Uh, potions and stuff. I don't know what any of this has to do with anything. Uh, and it doesn't look like I've unlocked any more characters just yet. Oh, there's actually a lot of characters to get through. That's interesting. Lots of unlocks here. Right. well, we'll start with, uh, Shepherd Sean. Members of the Sorcerer Tribe are actively studying magic so that they may one day bring honor back to their tribe. Yeah, that dude's face looks like honor is definitely what he's after and not, like, more heroin or something. Anyway, let's go. Uh, Forest of Trials. Pumpkin Forest looks like, again, oh, there's only three levels. And they've spelled forest wrong, so that's interesting. Let's see what we get here. Why is there an ad in the middle of my screen? Go away. All right. Uh, I can apparently turn on auto aim. And just move and attack. All right. There's items and there's run. All right. Oh, this is unfortunate. It's not actually a twin stick shooter then, because I can only shoot in the direction I'm facing. But we'll see. Is there anything anywhere in here I can run? Maybe can I run? I apparently cannot run. I'm trying to push the run button and nothing is working. Alright, well so far this is the best wandering around aimlessly simulator I've played yet on Android. Oh, was there something over there? Oh, I can actually just walk over that. There is nothing anywhere at all for me to shoot. What is going on here? Hello? Oh, do I have to step into one of these things? Maybe that's what it is. Could have, could have used, could have done with a, hey, step into one of the things if you want to fight stuff. All right. That was a bit creepy. All right. Oh, now I can run. Okay. Oh, do I have, did I accidentally turn auto aim on? Is that what happened? Looks like auto-aim is actually on. I'm just attacking whatever's closest as I hold down the button. So maybe that was what that problem was. It's not that I can only fire one, fire one direction. It's that I had auto-aim on. Alright. Well, so far I seem to be doing a lot of killing things. Why would a twin stick shooter have auto aim? That just seems like a weird choice. It's like, hey, would you like to not play 50% of our game? Oh, there's like coins or something down here. What's this all about? I don't know what all the. Those are some weird sound effects going on. Okay, so the terrain is not actually terrain, either. That's actually kind of disappointing. What's going on over there? Oh, there's a giant plant. Alright, so is there a way for me to turn... There's a pause button at the bottom that doesn't seem to actually let me... Oh, it's going to count down. That's kind of... Kinda nice. What's this over here? Power up? Ow. 
So the terrain I'm walking around it appears to not actually be terrain. I've been running around it this whole time, but it looks like I can just walk over top of anything, which is disappointing. Sure, I'll just walk right over this cliff here, no problem. Like this, this right here looks like I should not have been able to walk over it, but I apparently was. Oh, what's this? Lightning staff. Apparently I've now run out of lightning staff. Alright, so maybe normal was a poor choice. Also, auto-aim was definitely a poor choice. What is that guy? Oh, Jesus! He's charging right at me. Yeah, well, he's down now. I have a giant splotch of something on the side of my head. What's, what's this icon over here? Oh, there's another lightning staff. Oh, it'll, it'll bounce. Oh, what is that thing? Oh, it's shooting at me. Yeah, little grubs. I keep forgetting that I can just walk over anything I feel like. I don't actually have to worry about walking around the terrain. What's that? I don't know what that means. Maybe I need to get three of those to see something? Let's see what happens if I come up here and get this one. Oh. I'm apparently now invincible. Or is that a friendly run around over there? Wow, the sound effects are really loud. Like, inordinately loud. That appears to be a friendly that's running around me killing stuff. And I have died. My reward is two... I don't know what that is. Alright. Well. Uh... I need a thousand kills to unlock that. Which I've only gotten, apparently... Uh... I'm guessing that's kills? 897 kills? So let's try it again without the auto-aim. And maybe on a hard difficulty. I'm glad it puts an ad right in the center of my screen. Alright, auto-aim off. In retrospect, I should have realized that the X meant off. Yeah, there we go. Now it is actually a twin-stick shooter. Okay, let's try a hard mode. Ugh, that was a creepy sound. It seems like, it feels like there is still a little bit of auto-aim going on. Either that, it's not actually fully, uh... It doesn't actually have full range of motion. It may, it may just have, like, different notches that it can point in. Because I'm noticing that targeting on the auto-aim seems a little sticky. Oh, or not auto-aim, the, the right stick here. Feels a little sticky sometimes. Alright, I'll just continue with Operation Run in Circles. Seems to be working well for me so far. Actually feels a little bit easier with the uh, auto aim off. Mostly because maybe maybe it's because I can just lead my targets a little bit better. Man, sometimes these sound effects are really loud too. Ah. Let's 
So, so far, even on hard mode, it really doesn't feel that hard. Hey, like I said a second ago, it's actually feeling easier on, uh, what do I got here? Frost Staff? It's actually feeling easier now that I've turned off the auto-aim, and I also dialed up the difficulty at the same time that I did that. So, definitely not a very challenging game. It is very cutesy, so I don't know, maybe, maybe it's targeted at kids or something? It doesn't describe itself as a kid's game at all. It's not bad, I mean, it functions. It's just, uh, kind of lacking, I think, so far. Oh, those guys explode. I'm actually not sure if the backdrop is 3D. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if the backdrop is 3D or if it's just a flat... I mean, the fact that I can walk over the uh, every single thing on the screen would... Jesus, that's loud. Would, would seem to indicate that... It's just a flat uh, texture that I'm walking over in the background, but I don't know. It, it does also kind of look like maybe some of the some of the terrain does have a little bit of a, a 3D effect to it. I might just be making that up, though. Well. I wonder if I needed a thousand kills total, or just, or if it was a thousand kills in one game to unlock the next character. Damn, I finally took damage. Shouldn't have stopped moving. So it seems like this this circle I'm running here. Ow. When I'm not like screwing up trying to do fancy stuff like pick up this lightning staff. When I'm just running circles like this, it doesn't seem like there's any enemies that really have any way to deal with this. Which is kind of annoying, honestly. I shouldn't be able to just cheese the entire game just by running in circles and shooting behind me. Oh, I got slowed down. Something slowed me down for a second. But I just killed everything. So it didn't even matter. Alright, well I'm about to break a thousand kills in here. I'm pretty sure that I only needed a thousand kills total to unlock the next character. But I might as well get a thousand in here just to be sure if we're gonna check out another character. So far this this game is not very interesting. Let's see, 20 more kills. There's some new guys now, at least. And there's a thousand. I just realized that the music had disappeared, too. It's back now, but it had just up and disappeared for a while. Yeah, I, I do not feel like I should have been able to walk over all that terrain I just walked over. 
I do think it is just a flat texture now, now that I'm looking at it more closely. I think it is just a flat texture in the background. Oh, and I'm gonna get my buddy now. He's just gonna wander off in there and murder everything. Oh! Wow. So yeah, even on hard, uh, doesn't really actually feel that hard to me. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of want to just walk into something. Just say, yeah, whatever, just end it all, suicide, just so I can see the other character. Oh, there's a chicken throwing bombs at me. Still can't handle me running in circles. Oh, there, finally. I backed up into something that I couldn't see because my thumb was in the way. And I got a whole bunch of stuff, but I don't know what any of it means. All right. I'm going to check out the other character for a minute, but we may we may wrap this up. Also, I have to spend the kills. Strange. There. Ranger Rita. Do they all have names like that? Yeah, Shooter Sherry, Pumpkin Parker. Weird. And I did actually spend the kills to get that. Alright, well, let's check this out. Wow, and I have to spend the same kills to unlock different maps. It's kind of unfortunate. Alright. Oh yeah, that's exactly what this game needed, a faster rate of fire. Is this actually faster? I'm actually not sure now. By the way, if this is what they consider hard, then uh... Well, I don't know. This is not difficult in the slightest. I'm get this has to be like aimed at kids or something, because like really, really young players. Cause it's not even remotely difficult. But I would imagine if they have difficulty settings, they could at least have like the easier difficulty settings be actually difficult. It seems like honestly the issue isn't so much Okay, here's here's what I think the issues are with this game. Number one, I can do this, uh, but that is, uh, that's basically what it boils down to is that I can do this, but that's because of a couple other issues. For one being that I can walk over any of the terrain. If the terrain was something that I had to maneuver around to where I ever had any possibility ever of getting cornered, uh, then that, that would help it a lot and add a lot more difficulty to it. The other thing is that the enemies just don't seem to do anything. Like, they just slowly chase after me. Every once in a while, you'll run into one of them who, like, throws a bomb or something, but he throws it at where I was all the time. Which just means that I can just continue making slow circles with my thumbs and win this game. The power-ups are kind of dull. Here, I'll get a power-up here. Oh, Scatterbolt. That was interesting for a half a second. Yeah, the... The power-ups are kind of dull, too. I don't think they last long enough to really be interesting, is the problem. Like, I, I get Scatterbolt for half a second, but it doesn't really mean anything, and honestly, it, I, I feel a little bit more in danger when I get power-ups sometimes. Now I'm just walking into stuff because I don't even care. Uh, I actually feel a little bit more in danger when I get the power-ups because they seem to be kind of worse than what I have normally. Yeah, it, it, interesting idea. Wow, I have a giant gash on my face. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a good idea. I mean, make a twin stick shooter, go for it. But don't make a twin stick shooter that can be beaten by making slow circular motions with my with both thumbs. I'm just tracing the exact same finger the exact same rotation over and over and over again with both of my thumbs and killing everything and never in any danger of dying whatsoever.
It's almost better for me to ignore power-ups sometimes. Yeah, like, they'll jump at me, but they jump at where I was. So they never come anywhere near actually being able to hit me, as long as I keep moving. And it's not even like I have to... I have to keep moving in a specific direction. I just have to... Are you moving the left stick? If yes, you win! And I don't even think it's like... Like, none of them can, can, can catch up to me, either. Like, just in terms of raw land speed, none of them can just straight up catch up to me. So... I could probably not even shoot. Like, I could just do this and just run in circles the whole time. And just go on forever. Well, isn't this fun? Alright, guys. I think I've had just about enough of this. I'm going to... I don't know. You know what? I'll just go ahead and do the outro like this. This has been Fanta Shooting. It's available for free on both uh, iOS and Android. Uh, there is a $1.29 paid version of it available on iOS, but I really don't know what that gets you. Uh, there doesn't seem to be so far... Like, maybe it's just to remove the ads or something. There doesn't seem to be any real reason to actually pay for this game. I certainly wouldn't recommend paying for this game. It seems pretty dull, all things considered. Uh, I, I, I would I would be upset if I had spent money on this game. Fortunately, I did not. I'm just playing the free Android version of the game. Uh, what should I give this? Uh, let's see here. Well, hmm. all right. I will give this game one second here. I'm gonna give it a two. It just does not strike me. Oh. I almost dropped my phone, which is why I finally died. It, I had to actually lose the phone from my hands in order to in order to actually die in this game. That that is exactly why this game gets a two and doesn't really deserve much more than that. I, I just not impressed with this game at all. Very very dull, uh, very boring. Not really that interesting to me at all. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up. Thanks again so much for watching, guys. My name is Lore, and I will see you later.